authentic data for me, just some hard lessons we learned uh, over the last three years on really make a uh, big data work. Uh, I remember three years ago, Jack and I were having a meeting with Vice Chairman of Walmart, and uh, he was uh, looking at us and making a very serious statement. Uh, to, to understand Walmart, he was saying, to understand Walmart, you really have to be able to think in big numbers. And Jack and I were smiling at each other, because at the internet companies, we are very used to big numbers. And indeed, we do have some big numbers to show you, just to get a sense. I don't use Apple products. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And also, when people were doing survey about mobile phones, I'm using Aliyun OS mobile phones, so I don't use Android or, uh, or iPhone. Oh, uh, okay, so big data, we first start with big numbers. Okay, November 11th last year uh, is indeed a milestone in the history of Alibaba Group. On one single day, we had sales of more than uh, 1.9 billion MD. Yeah. Actually, sitting in this room, I realized I haven't spoken English for a long, long time. So you have to bear with me, especially with all these big numbers. Yeah, 19 billion. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Jack does all the speech in English, and I do all the speech in Chinese. So that's how it works. And then the point is, on that single day, uh, we we had more than uh, two one, uh, 230 million unique visitors on a single day. And if you think about it, many people were using, actually sharing the same Taobao ID. We probably cover 30% or even higher of total population in China on a single day. And uh, technology challenge is huge because in the first minute, there are more than 10 million people coming online, uh, log on to a uh, Taobao website. And the net number is a uh, Walmart daily average uh, volume is 8 billion RMB. And uh, uh, we are much larger than that on a single day. <coughs> and just to give you a sense about the exponential growth of data uh, for a typical e commerce company, if you only have Excel type of data set, of consumers, that number is very small. But if, if you want to match a consumer with their orders, the number gets much bigger. And if you want to order, uh, keep track of visiting sessions, the number is even bigger. And if you want to follow through all the clicks, so that's the, how number gets uh, grow exponentially. Now, first point I want to make is big data is actually more than big numbers. Okay, despite all these numbers I just show you. Fundamentally, it differs in the philosophy of data collection itself. The traditional data collection is a byproduct of processes. Okay, you start with an idea that I'm going out to collect some data. And you usually have a population well defined, and uh, you have a questionnaire, some, work, some kind of uh, formulated, and you have a sampling method, and uh, data collection itself is quite expensive and time consuming. But the data calculation and computation is actually very easy and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, cheap. But data collection on web is completely different. The population is not defined at all in the beginning. And data is generated and collected automatically as a byproduct of the business itself. However, data storage and calculation are very expensive. And fundamentally, big data is a natural accumulation of data over time and generate through business itself. So the huge difference conceptual-wise is we are moving from structured data in an industrial age to an unstructured data in the information age. So all these concepts we are familiar with on the left-hand side is basically structured data. 
which is a byproduct of a clearly defined fixed process. So similar concepts such as IT, uh, ERP, BI, for example, uh, I have banned the use of concept of BI in our company. BI means business intelligence, it means use data to support managerial decisions, which is completely in contrast to how we should run a data business for the future. Okay? So previous law for data is to facilitate in business. However, I don't know what will be the new concept emerging for the future on the right hand side. But I know for sure data is the business for the future itself. Now the second point I want to make is the relationship between data and uh, cloud computing. Okay? This is the number of Alibaba's server growth uh, over that period of time. And we had a new CTO in, uh, in the end of August, uh, uh, in, in the end of 2008. And the first thing he did is a survey of our technology expenditure. And that's the first uh, PPT he showed us. And when we see this picture, we know Alibaba will be dead in two years if our business is growing linear, but our capital expenditure is growing exponentially, it will wipe out everything we do. So we start invest seriously into cloud computing since 2009. So the fundamental concept of cloud computing is actually to develop scalable, reliable, low-cost and secure technology infrastructure that can really make data workable. Okay. Nowadays, everybody is used to, uh, is very familiar with the concept of cloud computing. Uh, but the, my key point is big data pushes technology innovation of cloud computing. We did cloud computing for survival. Uh, because if we don't do it, we will be overwhelmed by all the data accumulating at Taobao every day. However, what is also very exciting is cloud computing enables business innovation of big data. Let me finish with one final example. For these two things to work, you will also have to have a clear case of business application, something leverage big data. Okay? And in Alibaba Group, the case is Alibaba microfinance. We started business three years ago, and in less than two years, Alibaba Microfinancing has provided loans to more than uh, 150,000 SMEs, mostly Alibaba uh, uh, members and the Taobao power sellers, with average loan size of only 50,000 RMB. Okay? If you talk to a bank, their, their loans for SMEs average is more than 5 million. Okay? And also through financial modeling of rich data of Alibaba Group, we provide loans in less than a day most of the time, and sometimes even in minutes, to the power sellers who, who, is, uh, who have very good, uh, good credit history. Now, the interesting part is three years ago, when we started Alibaba microfinancing business, we required the new business have no IT team at all. Everything has to be run on Alibaba Cloud Computing, which did not exist by that time. And also we ask them to use all the data of the group instead of input of human beings, exam examine, examifying uh, our SMEs by people interface. So I will conclude by saying uh, big data, new business innovation, cloud computing, are laying the foundation for one of the most exciting history in our business development. Thank you.